maybe this loss was so terrible and embarrassing. Maybe Jerry and the front office will finally right. change. That's they didn't what I say. They didn't right. do it. Right. The, right. It, yeah, like after right. that, right, uh, SSL, you would have thought that they would have maybe changed up some of the, the things they've been doing in recent years because it ain't working. Yeah, we're right. winning 12 games. But they games. did change. Oh, I don't know. Hold on. Hold on. Your mic's jacked up. Playoff game, you run a completely different scheme that you've never ran, like you have ran. Yeah, that was crazy. No? Yeah, I played some zone. Like two story, but, yeah. but See, the bad thing sucked, was, though, right? the bad thing was, I think the Joneses should have fired McCarthy after the season before. And no, no, no. Wait, this might wait, after the wait. 49ers that that when y'all lost to the 49ers oh, that, that yeah after that that loss then that was the second time year, right, same team quick. second second time in the same scenario in the playoffs right What's up? Yeah. hey they right. should have cleaned house Game they should have gotten you, rid man. of McCarthy you stop that right and right. Yeah, a little who, bit. who was our <laughs> offensive coordinator <laughs> the year before and Kellen Moore? Was people, that Schottenheimer? Hold on. Pe no, people no. say Kellen. have Kellen. people Kellen. say you need to be a, you know oh I'm a, I am a diehard Cowboys fan but you know people say you need to be positive. Hold on, I thought for sure that Jones uh, the Jones family in the front office would change after that embarrassing loss. I I thought they were. I gave them the benefit of the doubt. Mm -hmm. and they're doing the same thing again. Why? They're Why doing the same thing. Like it's it's Jerry Jones. He's not going to change. Stop wanting him to change. You crazy for wanting him to change. He ain't changing now. Right. And you, you just have to accept it. And, and, and I, I just want you guys to, I just want you guys to know <laughs> as, as, as an Eagles fan, this is you where too much time you, you, this is where you guys start yeah. sounding like a, like, like, like a, I don't know. You're doing too much. This is when you guys start sounding like uh, no, uh, Commanders no. fans when Dan Snyder was the owner. It's, it starts to it starts to sound alike to me. You mean the Jerry Jones? Protégé? Oh, hold on, Leo. But what about y'all? Y'all had a collapse too. Now, you but know, again, the, I just say, got Thomas, got Thomas, 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 Thomas. What happened after that? You saw what happened. There was accountability. The the people who and, were behind and when your that, team we, goes again, eight and nine this year, triage. and when your team They're goes eight and nine this year, I'm sorry. When your team goes eight and nine this year. If that's it, look again. That's that's speculative. All I'm saying to you is, is that again, when you do a proper triage, so, we did that, you, and our and like those all, people. All, to Thomas's point, to, to Thomas's point, we dug, found out what was going on, and those people who were who were deemed the responsible are gone. Thomas, do you remember what happened when Doug Peterson let go? Uh, did something with the with the last game of the season? When he was our court, when he was our um, he was our head coach, and it was something with the Giants, and we ended up getting a better draft pick because of that. What did what did Jeffrey Lurie do? He didn't just get rid of Carson Wentz; he got rid of Doug Peterson too. Every time, like when you have those kinds of things, when you have those kinds of things happen, at least accountability shows that hey, they get gone. We don't hold on to them. We don't give them another chance. You know what I'm saying? We don't put them in a position to, to do it again. Okay. And that's the let, only let me, point let me I'm get making. To, like, every time I bring that up. All right. Let, let me get to the person who's paying me today. What are we supposed to do? Like, who are we supposed to make accountable for for our mistakes? Who, who, do, you, who do you believe? One, it starts with the head coach. There you go. So the head coach should be fired. Yes. The head coach should be yes. fired. The head coach, yes. oh, the head coach yes. is calling right. plays yes. who had the number one offense. I'm who, sorry. That's, that's so the head coach, know. the head coach who was now calling plays that had the number one offense, turned his quarterback around and had him as a an MVP. Um, but Mark, me, hold, hold Mark, on. Wait, wait, we wait, had, wait, we wait, had wait, a head whoa, coach whoa, whoa, whoa. that took us to a Super Bowl and won our first Super Bowl. And guess what? No, we got no, rid no. of his ass. Yeah, and I, I think that was stupid, but that's me. Um, question for Eagle fans. How far does Hurts take the Cowboys if he were the quarterback? And how far does Dak take the Eagles? <laughs> Hypothetical. Not very far. That's a funny question. Okay. Because, they haven't, because the, the Cowboys have not invested in making sure that Dak has everything that he needs 
as the Eagles have invested in making sure that Jalen has everything that he needs. Okay, so if Dak were quarterback of the Eagles, what do you say is going to happen there? I think we, if Dak was the quarterback, if if Dak was the quarterback of the Eagles, we're going to the we're winning the Super Bowl. See, Are you saying Dak is a good so. quarterback? Thank you, I appreciate Thank that. Thank you. I did. I, I I didn't say he wasn't. I never said he wasn't. Everybody. Never said uh, well, he wasn't. you saw where C.J. Stroud was but, basically but, but, but putting Dak, him in the top five. Dak does not. Jalen Hurts has a better team than Dak. Does. Oh my God. Jalen Hurts has a better support system around him than what Dak has. You guys, I mean, like, it's it's the thing that you guys keep ignoring. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, we can go back and forth. You know, we can go tit for tat when it comes to when it when it comes to offensive line. Hey, man, Our just offensive line they dig it. is just we as good Thomas, as yours. man. We gonna get out of here, boy. I'm gonna see you in the hospital. We, we gonna, gonna get, get high, high, high. Yes, sir. We gonna get high. Our nail. <laughs> So, 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 Mark, no, let me ask you this. No, Mark, no, Mark. no, 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 so Leah, you're Leah, So Leah. what you're telling me is, you're, what you're telling me is, yeah. is that Jerry and Stephen Jones oh my have God. put enough, thi- enough oh. pieces around that to ensure that he becomes a winner in the postseason. Leo, is this the first time you've ever watched this channel? No. How many times have I, I literally, I keep telling people that, and everybody keeps telling me, Dak is whack. Dak is your only, I was like, dudes. I say, look at San Francisco. You know, they already had two good receivers and a tight end. They go out and get the best running back in football. They ended up having going out and getting other players. I've been saying that shit forever. It's not Dak's fault solely. It is the mentality of the team. You just made the argument for me. I don't think it's ever been solely Dak's fault. I don't think it's ever been that. And And I've said that before. If you put Dak on San Francisco... They're going to the Super Bowl. Mm-hmm. If you put Dak on, if you put Dak in Philly, they're going to the Super Bowl. Wow. The problem, and, and the only reason why I'm saying that is because you're talking about organizations. If you put Dak in Baltimore, they're going to the Super Bowl. I, I tell you, know you what I'm you, saying. I tell you it, what, bro. The, the thing is, is that these are organizations who actually invest in making sure that the quarterback has everything that he needs to at least succeed. They put him in a position. To succeed, like they've done with Jalen Hurts, it's not like listen. Wow. We are not solely dependent on Jalen Hurts to get us to the Super Bowl. It's the whole team. We have AJ Brown, we have Devontae Smith, we have Dallas Goddard, we have Saquon Ooh. Barkley, we have a hell of an O line, just like you guys do. <coughs> you know what I'm saying? Like goddamn, you know what I'm saying? And then, and and if none of that works. What you and I've said this over and over again. Wow. At least we see activity. They're doing Howie is doing something to try to make things better. He's not standing pat and not saying anything. He's not sitting there telling the fan base that they're going all in and they're not doing anything and playing these little stupid ass games. As a matter of fact, they have not even put our team in a position where we have to pay this guy. 60 million dollars because we didn't we because we was bullshitting and here's the other thing too today's <laughs> price is yesterday's price is not today's price and the longer your team keeps waiting to sign cd lamb ju- if justin jefferson gets signed you see where eric waddle just cost y'all i mean come on man like these are not hey, smart, you- these are not smart moves it's hard to argue with him he's he's why literally you, uh, seem like you care a lot about that no, I know. Like you seen, like you seen. No, I, I, I know. I told you, I am not. I, I am. I'm checking out. You guys are. He, you're 100 percent right. I, and I've said the same thing. And I'm just told you're just a Dak lover. You that just he's a bum ass quarterback. Get rid see, of him. He's see, all your Mark, problem. If if only the Cowboys could have had Wildcat Jerry with with this draft and development oh, mentality. If only we had Wildcat Jerry, then we then we might have gone somewhere. Yeah. And now we have fiscally conservative Stephen Jones, who doesn't know his head from his ass when it comes to contracts. The and reason the, the Cowboys again. can't make moves is because they screw the pooch with contracts and then have to go through and restructure them. If you look at next year, the amount of voidable contracts, the amount of money that's in them, we got about $40 million plus DAX, $40 million. Um, I'm talking about additionally. We have like $80 million in voidable contracts next year. Hits. 
And that goes straight to the front office of screwing the pooch. And, and, and Mark, we get up and, and come uh, 26, we'll have a hundred over a hundred million in, in cap space. Yeah. You only have about 10 though next year. Yeah. Hey, our team is solid. I got a question. 